Hi everybody, Renee here. I'm here today to show you my stitching um, for the month. Um, unfortunately, I am working on a surprise project for somebody and I don't want them to see what I'm working on. So I can't show you the majority of what I've done this month, but hopefully you don't mind seeing these few little things and some old whips I found. I recently reorganized the closet in my sewing room and found some old whips that I had started and I'm gonna pick back up again. So I'm gonna add it to my ever-growing whip pile. So I'll show you those first. This is one that, you know, I can't tell you how long I've been working on this one. Um, I have been, let's see if this says, it's a 1992 kit and I'm pretty sure I bought it brand new to, to work on. And this is the picture and it's a dimensions kit and the name of it is called In the Beginning. And I've been working on this one off and on since I bought it. Um, my original thought was to put it in my son's room. Well, he just turned 29. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want this in his room. So it's not gonna be a gift for anybody. I'm gonna do it for myself. Um, it's the creation story and I am so close to done. I don't know why I didn't just pick this up and finish it. So truthfully, I think, here I'll show it to you. I think all I have left to do is to finish the border all the way around. And then up here in this corner, there's like a hummingbird and a sun and just some like confetti. And then on this side is the moon and stars and again, some confetti. But as I've been going along, I've been doing all the back stitching as well. I think I may still need to back stitch the butterfly. Yes, I still need to back stitch a butterfly. Oh, and I need to finish this border right here that comes up along here. So I'm really not that far from being done. I love this. Um, I just I just need to finish it. So that's that's one of my whips that's getting added to added to the pile. And then here's another whip. I, I started on it a few years ago. Um, this was, this is from 1997, although I think I just bought this, just, I think I bought it like in the early 2000s. Worked on it for a little bit and then I just kind of put it aside. Um, I really like needlepoint. However, the only needlepoint I've really done is the, the kind with yarn on large, you know, not large, but you know, regular needlepoint canvas, like you'd use for seats, um, you know, on um, footstools, things like that. Well, I picked this up. It's a Thomas Kincaid. I love Thomas Kincaid. And it's uh, called Victorian Garden 2, and it's just beautiful. This is the kind of house I love, and I would love to have gardens like that. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, so I don't know if you'll be able to tell, I haven't gotten a lot done. Well, I say I haven't gotten a lot. This part did take me quite a while. I wasn't keeping track. And then there's white here. I'm not sure if you can see, I started on the white. So, um, this is doing needlepoint on the smaller canvas with, um, regular like embroidery floss. Um, here are the colors. So I'll pull that out for you so you can see the colors. Um, the colors are really beautiful. Um, they'll really go with my house really well. I even have a place where I know this will work. Um, so, and if you're wondering about this holder, um, this is actually from the Creative Circle. I used to be a Creative Circle um, teacher. And unfortunately, if anyone remembers them, they went out of business. I was heartbroken. Um, I was with them up until the very end. Um, loved teaching those classes. Um, love doing lace nut darning. That was probably one of my favorite crafts that they did. And it's really hard to find um, the supplies to do it anymore, let alone any sort of patterns that really work out well. You can use like the silhouettes. Um, silhouette patterns will usually work out okay. Um, and you do it with, uh, with um, candle wicking, which candle wicking is kind of a lost thing too. Um, so I'm not quite sure where to find that, although I guess you could use like um, DMC, um, what's it called, pearl cotton. It would probably work with that, so. Okay, so another thing that I've been working on, and I mentioned it in my last floss tube, is working on pajamas for um, Noah Nation. And here is one that I completed. I have some more to do. I also picked up some at the store. 
Um, but I decided instead of the Velcro to use snaps. So the snaps come open like that. They can access the port and then um, they can snap the top one shut to keep the kid feeling like they've still got a shirt on. They just don't have this big flappy thing in front. And um, so hopefully that um, I'll be able to get the rest of those done pretty quickly. I did have to get um, my snaps that I purchased um, a long time ago for another project. They really weren't very good. And so I started doing some research and I found this company um, makes these snaps called CAM, K-A-M snaps. These work great and they seem to be really strong. I'm hoping that there won't be any snap failures. So that was something I've been working on and do a bunch more of that. Um, another thing I get is the sew sampler box. It's from Fat Quarter Shop. It's a monthly uh, quilting box. And in the box, it comes with all kinds of little notiony things. Um, and, and I've done a, I've done a box opening on my channel before. Um, if I remember, I'll link that one uh, down below if you wanted to see it. It's a sew sampler from several months ago. I do know, and the reason I haven't been doing unboxings of those um, is because they're on a wait list. It's not like you can get it right away and you definitely wouldn't be able to get the one I'm showing you. Now, if you would like to see unboxings of the sew sampler boxes, leave me a comment down below. I would be more, even if it's just one of you that wanna see it, I would be more than happy to do an unboxing for you. You just let me know. But one of the things that's in the box is not only do you get some sort of fabric and a, um, a exclusive pattern just to use that fabric, you also get every year they do a quilt along. This year's is called Goodness Grows Quilt Along. This is block number one. I'm behind because we just got block number five. So I've got four others to do to catch up. Um, my sister and I are both doing it. Um, she, I think, is a little further ahead of me, but that's okay. It's not a competition, sister. Anyway, here's my first block. And do I have it upside down? No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't have it upside down. There's letters in here, so I was trying to make sure. I'll tell you what, this little part right here, what a bugger trying to get all those corners lined up. And I found while I was doing this that um, my quarter inch seam that I thought was a quarter inch seam on my sewing machine wasn't exactly quarter inch. So I have now put a piece of tape on my sewing machine. So if I can ever get around to doing some um, quilting process videos for you, which I hope to do, um, you'll see that piece of tape on my on my sewing machine. So, so that's block number one. Uh, block number two is applique, which I love doing applique. So I don't know why I haven't done it because all I gotta do is stick everything down and then I can do the applique by hand watching videos or whatever, even watching TV if I wanted to. So, so that's something else I'm working on. And then my final big project that I wanted to show you today, let me open my little box that I keep it in. I keep it just, I mean, you, I'm sure if this isn't, unless this is the first time you've watched me, um, most people should know that I'm a close to my heart consultant. And this is one of our um, containers for, for uh, storage. And I actually, I love these for my quilting because quilts fit in here great, all your pieces and everything. So let me show you what I've been working on. I am making a quilt for us, for our bed. Can you believe it? I'm not giving it away to somebody. And it is called Greystone, and it is by Bonnie Blue Quilts, which I think is now called Red Quinoline, Red Crinoline Quilts. This pattern, oh my gosh, I thought that I had counted up. I did it one time, but I didn't write it anywhere, I guess. Um, this pattern has a gazillion, gajillion pieces. Oh my goodness gracious. You see that little block right there? You see that little tiny block? It doesn't look like much, right? Here you go. That's what it is. So just to give you an idea, those little tiny blocks are these guys. So I'm in the process right now of putting those together. So I will show you just real quickly. I have a few of them put together. I still have more to put together that are already cut out and I've already done most of my half square triangles on them. But so I'll just show you. That's one, two, Three, don't look at my edges, I haven't squared up yet. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I've got 10 of those done and I need to make, let's see, I am making, how many am I making of these? These are my half square triangles. I am making, let's see, I thought it told me, where is it? 25. So, man, I'm hot. And I should be, I should be complaining. My husband's outside mowing the grass. So yeah, and it's like, it's like over 90 here it, and humid. It's just crazy here in East Tennessee. So, so I've got 10 of these done. I need to make 25. Um, and then on the big blocks, now I've got everything cut out um, to make all the blocks. So um, then the big blocks, there's also 25 of those. So there's 50 blocks and then you have all of your connecting pieces, your sashing, your, your everything. So um, I'm making this for our bed and our bed is a king size. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to make sure that it's big enough because I like our quilts to hang over the edge. And um, so I may add more than just this one, um, this one border. I might do a double border. Um, so we'll see. Um, I'll let you know. Um, I don't think I brought all the fabric, but I can show you some of the other pieces of fabric. I can't, you know, right off the top of my head tell you where to go. So here's one. Um, that you haven't seen. And I think that's really the only one that wasn't used in the pieces that I just show that I just showed you on screen. Um, so yeah, this one. And then um, we also got um, a really nice large floral print for this one right here. So when I do the, when I do the border on the outside, I'll probably do something in this tealy color because I did do similar colors something in this tealy color and a small print so that it's not completely overwhelming. So that is all of my stitching. Um, I didn't have any hauls this month. I am trying to be a little bit good because I had quite a bit of haul stuff for Close to My Heart um, for this new, the new idea books. So, and if you didn't see that uh, video, that was the last video that I put up was my haul. And here at the end of this video, it should pop up for you here on the side of the screen. Um, so I hope you enjoyed what I showed you today. I wish it would have been more, but like I said, I can't show you what the, I can't show you the really fun, exciting, big giant project I'm doing. Now I'm almost done with my part of the big giant project. So hopefully in a while, I'll be able to show you a little more of it. Um, but if you have any questions on anything, please let me know if this is your first time here. Thank you so much for joining us, joining us, me. <laughs> yeah, me, myself, and I. Um, thank you so much. And if you'd like to be a subscriber, that would be awesome as well. Just hit the subscribe button, hit the bell if you want them to notify you. Don't if you don't. Um, but thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I will see you on my next floss tube in October. Hopefully I'll get a chance to work on some of those whips that I showed you that I worked on in Jolly July, as well as I have a couple things I want to crochet. Um, the, I've, I've got this pattern for these really cute pumpkins and I want to make a little, a little tray with um, some pumpkins in it for fall decorations. Although fall around here isn't like fall, like a lot of places. So you just have to pretend that it's fall. So I hope you all have a great day. Um, if anybody's in Florida, all my friends in Florida, I'm praying for you. And um, I hope you stay safe and that the hurricane, um, the hurricane shows some mercy. Okay. Um, everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.